So hello guys, so today we have another trouble and this time is the ship's elevator. I don't know yet what is the problem and they said that it cannot be operated from a deck. So they called me in the morning, they told me that the door is not closing and I need to check what is wrong with this. I made this uh, do not operate sign and also SJA as well as the permit to work. I'm just waiting for my partner, the cadet, so that he will be on standby outside. Once I will go inside and check what is wrong with the elevator. So come and join me in this new learning. So I have printed out the manual of the elevator and let's see if what conditions that will satisfy and not is satisfying our circuit and then we will see from there what is wrong with our system. So after we put the all the signs, so this is the situation that we are having. So as you can see, it's on a deck. And the car is on a deck and then once we go inside door is closed and let's try to go to B deck it will you can press the B deck and let's close the door nothing is happening on the door inside even if we close the door, the door is not. The, the elevator tries to go up, press the B deck. So now I will go out. It will just stay like this. It will not move. It will not, it will not run. So we are on C deck and it will stay like this for a long time it will not run so let's go to the elevator room it's a lift machine room and see what is wrong in here so this is the motor and then this is the controller so we need to open this and see what is wrong with our system Okay, so this is our controller and it looks like there is no alarm on the controller. So the problem in this setup is that there is no fault onto our controller. Okay, so the main controller, there is no fault in there. And usually you will have these fault codes. Where is that one? Because this one is car door open state, okay? So it means the car door is in the open state, which is that is the OP. And that three, it means it's on the, the three indicates that that is the A deck because you have the second deck, which is the engine control room. That's the first. Upper deck is the number two and A deck is the number three, okay? So normally, so normally you will have the different kind of state wherein sometimes you will find, let's say, F14 card or error, all this one. But this indicates that we have a healthy system, we have a normal system. So we need to find out if what is really the main cause of the problem. So this is the troubleshooting for control system. So the manual said that please check that the status of relay 29 and the contactor call MC in control panel. If the status of relay 29 is off, please check elevator 
safety line which is described in wiring COL03 but checking this side that is the X29 and it is on so we need to check now the MC it says here if the status of the contactor MC is off please check the elevator safety line and the 30B signal for inverter inner system checking which is described in wiring diagram COL02 and 04 so the MC is this one and it is in the off state so we need to check we need to check the conditions that they're saying on number two why the MC is not activated so MC is off and it says here I need to check the COL 04 and this is the MC and the one that will activate the MC is should be the MCA so we need to check the MCA So the MCA is really activated. See that one? So MCA is activated. So we should have uh, the situation is this is activated and if we will measure the P24 and and 24 we should be getting 24 volts the p20 so this is the p24 and n24 that goes to the mca and then we have 24 volts so that is why this one the mca is activated so the mca have two contacts that needs to be satisfied so since this is activated then it means the current flows all the way and the MCA should be closed and checking the A220 and B220 let's see the A220 so checking the A220 and B220 I have 220 volts so it means that should satisfy when we press I will press now this one which is on X40 and X41 should be on and then let's see if X40 and X41 is. now as you can see X40 and X41 are on MCA is on except except for MC so the contacts that will activate the MC is still not activated it means that there must be problem with the control contacts that drives that will drive the MC all the sati uh, all the circuit had been satisfied but the MC is still not activated Actually guys, this is kind of weird thing because we don't have alarm on the system and it is not working properly so it satisfies all the interlocks except for that MC and I suspect the MCA relay is the problem that is why even if it is activated the contacts are not closing so we need to check that one so guys good thing that we have this uh, relay and then we will interchange it there and see what we what will happen after changing the relay so this is the relay and we will change this one and see what will happen so we need to switch off the system and then it's update
So we remove the spare. and then we will put the spare. Okay, we need to put back the lock. So after we change the relay, it's time to power on the unit. There you go. Okay. So it's on the A deck. Door is open on the A deck. And then we... So the C, C D means the door will... Actually the... The controller will do a self check. Now the door is closed. And then the controller will again open the door. That's the initial start after everything that we have done. It's power on. After we change this one, let's try the lift. Uh, X41 and X40 will be on once we once we press any button, any call button. So let's try. This should run. You see that one? There you go. Yes. So now X40 and X41. So I'm so happy. Everything is on. Everything is okay. So. MC is also on. That's for the power for 40. So there you go. So that's it, guys. After changing the MCA relay, so the lift is now okay. It's working properly and everything is fine and i hope you learned something from this troubleshooting video and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more et updates thank you